The use of indwelling urinary catheters is common in hospitals and can lead to preventable catheter-associated urinary tract infections, or UTIs. Such infections are problematic for patients, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services regards them as hospital-acquired conditions and imposes penalties on hospitals with higher-than-average rates of catheter-associated UTIs. How can rates of catheter-associated UTIs be reduced in hospitals? Investigators implemented a multifaceted intervention in 926 ICUs and non-intensive care units in 603 hospitals in 32 states, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C. The intervention involved collecting data on the use of indwelling urinary catheters, assessing the necessity of such catheters on a daily basis, encouraging staff to avoid the use of indwelling catheters and to use other urinary collection methods, such as condom catheter or intermittent straight catheterization, and emphasizing the importance of aseptic technique during insertion and maintenance of indwelling catheters. The intervention also included regular reports to hospital staff on catheter-associated UTIs and the identification of knowledge gaps on the appropriate use of indwelling catheters. The primary outcome was the change in catheter-associated UTI rates after adjustment for hospital characteristics 14 months after the start of the intervention. The catheter-associated UTI rates had decreased by 14%, from 2.4 to 2.05 per thousand urinary catheter days. In a subgroup analysis, non-intensive care units showed a significant reduction in indwelling urinary catheter use and catheter-associated UTI rates, while ICUs did not. In conclusion, a multifaceted national prevention program reduced the rate of catheter-associated UTIs in hospitals with the strongest effect on non-intensive care units. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.